The community of Karamea and Bulla is still completely cut off tonight as further slips obstruct the only road in. Work is underway across the district to repair infrastructure and the community continues to rally to help desperate locals clean up before any further weather events. Here's Juliet Speedy. Rotary Club volunteers have come from all over the South Island to help rebuild some Westport residents' lives. We've put the new kitchen in here for her. I've come from Christchurch. I was asked to come and help do some painting, but since I've been here I've dug holes in riverbanks and laid concrete and done all sorts of things. Most of these people are older and retired, but putting in long physical hours to transform uninsured and underinsured houses from unlivable back to a home. And you've been able to do something physical rather than just put your hands in your pocket and bring out the, the cash. I can see the devastation in people's lives by getting houses going underwater all the time. We've come in and changed, I believe, changed her life. That's the life of Ran Johnston. Her house was uninsured and destroyed by flood. She hasn't been able to live here for eight months. In that time, they've had three floods. But she'll move back into one of the rooms tonight, thanks to the countless hours from the volunteers. I'm just beyond grateful. Without them, I, I would have, would have, I, I, I just would have had to just walk away. Like many residents, the emotion here is never far from the surface. It's very sad when you see local people who have lived here all their lives crying, you know. Yeah. You're doing really well. We also went back to see resident Kevin O'Loughlin, who was emotional in our story last night. See, I lost my partner too, which she had to go in the home. We bought him some fresh tomatoes today after his discovery yesterday. Ruined me tomato, look at it. But he pissed me right off. See? Supermarket tomatoes aren't as good, but they'll do. Oh, they'll be, they'll be good when I. Uh, plenty of pepper and a bit of curry powder sprinkled over them when you cook them. The mayor says 22 homes have so far been red or yellow stickered from Thursday's flood. But that number is highly likely to grow as they, uh, as they get into the uh, particularly Anangahua area. Jamie Klein says the flood has been significantly worse than first thought for key infrastructure. In the town of Karamea, with 29 dairy farms, is still completely cut off. I, do, I certainly do have concerns about access to Karamea and, and the ability to have um, large like, milk tankers and things traversing that road. Ron Johnson says Westport people are broken. We just can't take it again, you know, and we've got another cyclone coming this weekend and it's the not knowing. Authorities know it's time for action and money to come into Buller to try and help these climate change driven events that aren't going away. Well, Juliet joins us now live. Gosh, some amazing characters in that story, but I see it is raining again there. It is, Ingrid, but by West Coast standards, this is just a mere drizzle. However, the Met Service have just upgraded the rain dew here over the next 24 hours to an orange warning. But I've just got off the phone to Buller Mayor Jamie Klein, and he has a real message for residents in this region because he doesn't want people to panic or worry. The reason they've upgraded it to orange is because the ground here is so saturated and fragile. They've checked the rivers. They do believe there will be no widespread flooding from the rain dew here. The rivers will cope with it, and everything is fine. What is of slight concern is the fact that there is rain coming and there is some extremely strong winds due here tomorrow. And because that, rain, uh, that land is fragile, some of those trees could come down. There could be further slips. But residents can sleep well tonight knowing there isn't going to be a fourth major flooding event for the region. That is good news. Juliet, thank you.